Right now, I'm adding, right? I'm adding to the road that goes off in the horizon, right? I'm being, it's a little loose, it's okay. It's adding to the road. Now, I'm going to subtract. So it's the other color, brown, and I'm going to start subtracting from what I added. It's a super simplistic concept, but I think about it all the time, adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting, till I get what I want. And using acrylic, we're not making anything muddy because it dries within, you know, minutes. So there's not a lot of mud happening. And so when you're doing a base, I really like that, especially a background. And then if something's not right, later on I can go over with oil. That kind of fix things up. But once you've gone into oil, you can't go back to acrylic. That's a disaster. Probably will crack. Had a good long session today. Uh, essentially finished step one. Step one is to get this background. So I went with the Looney Tune Roadrunner background. The next step, I want to use the technology of today and shove it in there. And they ram it into, uh, into this old universe. I'm still on that kick. So I'm going to go use the AI, AI uh, generator. I'm going to search through that, see what I can come up with. And then once I make that selection, I'm going to put it into here. So let's check out the, uh, the AI. Black, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, gamboge, whatever that is. Cerulean blue, titanium white, deep brilliant red, possibly some orange. And then you have your liquid. The layout here is really important. Um, I really like how the background ended up. And so now it's about placement. So I have my, my image that I selected, uh, that I want to insert. It's pretty obvious that it's going to go center, but we're looking around, I'm guessing here. So I'm going for a silver metallic metal, give it a little bit rusty. Undercoat, really. So this is just essentially becoming the underpainting. Not too dark. And not too thick. This part is all about patience because I don't want to uh, make too many mistakes. Some mistakes are inevitable, but I, I don't want to get, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be too loose. And I feel like I'm lucky right now because I don't have, uh, I'm not stressed out and really relaxed. It allows me to kind of take my time and see what starts to take shape. I'm using a few different images, references, and then I'm combining them into one. One good thing about this process, this entire kind of series is that I, it allows me a lot of room to take liberties. And if I have to move his ears, so be it. So the ears might have been an earlier, too early. Maybe not those. We're going even fatter. Kind of now I've almost exited the reference for shape. The shape is good. I'm comfortable. It's somewhat in the, what I anticipated. But now I just, I'll start adding my own flair to everything. So you saw me now insert my Bugs Bunny cyborg time traveler. And uh, I'm really happy with where it's going. I do see some problems where... 
it's always been the color of like this metallic robot but he does blend quite hard into the the road the path so have to find a solution for that today um see how i'm going to make him pop out instead of get lost in the background i think that would be my main focal point of this video is the different references because um obviously it's easier just to find one image and then just really use that and follow that direction in this case it just i couldn't um, find one particular image that had everything i needed so i used a series of different images today i think we're gonna start adding like flames from these kind of like turbo legs yeah and see where it goes i think i'm gonna leave my let myself go a little bit oh hi okay say hi <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, it'd be great if I can finish today, but it seems like it's still really wet. And uh, let's see what happens. So you saw I changed his shell, his suit, and uh, had him distinguish it from the background. Now at this stage, I'm doing like final touches, and I'm also changing like changing things as well. So I was working on his face. I was actually using the original cartoon. Um, yeah, a bunch of ideas start popping up as I go along, and so that's just where I'm at. Finished. Feels good. Yeah, I'm excited still about this direction. The uh, concept of time travel, inserting iconic uh, characters in other realms as if they're traveling through different dimensions. Even this, something came to mind, this one was Back to the Future. The takeaways from this one were the multiple references. So using multiple different images to, to create him was important and something that i wanted to highlight in the video the other thing knowing when to stop knowing when to keep going what to add and uh that's something that comes up all the time for me um because i definitely can go like go off the rail and uh and sometimes that really works out and sometimes it's like ah, i didn't need that and this one i was gonna add like a snake tail i was gonna add kind of some sort of carrot on a stick but as i added when I had it prior to this arm, I just felt like it was missing something. So it was prompting me to like go in all kinds of different directions. I ended up, when I ended up just adding an arm with this laser gun, it was enough. What the name ends up being, I always change the names all the time. But, you know, Time Traveler 2 or uh, sub, sub Back to the Future, something in that world. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.